what is going on people and welcome back to the channel guys so it is another week and it is another week that we are trying out some new deer attractants that i have not used on this channel before so this week what we're trying out is the uh the original deer cane mix now on this channel i've tried out the liquid stuff before and that worked really really well so this time we're going to uh, test out this mix now first things first on this stuff is it is really heavy this is a very heavy bag it is 6.5 pounds in this little tiny bag so this stuff is very very fine it is very very powdery now it's meant to like dig a hole and then put this stuff in it and then rebury the hole but we're not going to do that on this channel we're just going to pour it out right here in a big old area and just see what comes up to it now this is about ten dollars about 9.99 at tractor supply and so not bad for the price still in our ten dollar range here on the beach reviews now the next one is this one right here i've not used this before i've not seen this before now this is uh antler king big bucks healthy deer cotton candy attractant now as you can see i've already opened it because the name cotton candy i was thinking was going to smell like super super sweet but unfortunately it does not it's it's moderately sweet it smells like there's some crushed up berries and stuff in there but uh yeah not too bad here is what it looks like pour some out it uh it's like it looks like mold i'm not gonna lie to y'all it, and I'm guessing that's the cotton candy in it, but it looks like uh, molded rat turds. Get get it up there. Hold on. Let me put this in so y'all can see this stuff. Is it gonna focus? Hold on. Hold on. I'll get to focus. There it is. Okay. See, so I can kind of see it right here. And they got this stuff in there, which I'm guessing is the cotton candy flavor, but it just looks like molded rat turds, like I said. <laughs> But yeah, it's just a little mixed blend of stuff right there. Is it out of focus again? But yeah, it's corn, you got some pellets, cotton candy stuff. So all in all, not too bad. Smells okay, moderately sweet, but uh, nothing too fancy. So these are our two baits that we're gonna be trying out today. We got the deer cane and we got the cotton candy. So I'm trying to think of what we should put down here because last time we did the last video, we got a lot of good uh, photos up there from those hogs. So I kind of want to move them a little bit closer down here this time. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the deer cotton candy stuff down here. And I'll put this stuff up there because I'm pretty sure the hogs are going to come after this. And I want those deer to come down this way a little bit more down from the clearing up there as you can see. So we're going to start with the cotton candy right here. So last week's video, I had the game camera right here, kind of facing this way, and I did not like the angle that I got from this spot right here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move it up and kind of see if I can angle it down, kind of like this. So it's kind of looking down instead of being so short and then looking straight out because I felt like my range of sight was just very restricted right here. So I'm gonna move it up a little bit. All right, so I found a pretty good spot right here on this hump. It'll kind of push it facing down. So I'm gonna angle it looking this way, but facing down. So we got our game camera up here looking straight down. So now we're gonna put the deer cotton candy right over here yeah right here all right so move that deer can out of the way this is where the deer cotton can is going to go it's all right here There we go. That is the cotton candy right there. Alrighty guys, so we have the cotton candy all poured out right here, right here next to the game camera looking down on it. So that is set and ready to go. Now the next thing is we're gonna go up the hill I'll up on this clearing with the deer cane and we're gonna sprinkle that out there next to the cellular game camera so we can get some really sweet photos. Probably with some more hogs, not gonna lie. The hogs are back, but the good Lord willing, a few bucks and maybe some does. All right, so we're up here at spot number two. You can kind of look down the clearing a little bit at the feeder, that was spot number one. So we're up here, probably about another 50, 75 yards up the, up the clearing a little bit. We got our Sarah Lake game camera right there. And now we're about to pour out this deer cane mix right here. And I know, I know a lot of people in the comments are about to 
bash me on how I'm about to do this, but I'm just gonna pour it out. I know you're supposed to make like these little sites, you know, you dig the hole and stuff and put it in there, but yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna pour it out, see what it does. So first impressions right here, as I said, it is very heavy. It's a 6.5 pound bag, especially for this little bag that is ridiculous, but oh, mm, it is a. Uh, it's not sweet, it's very musty, and I'm not gonna lie, it uh, it looks like straight cocaine. What are y'all doing in here? It's called cocaine. I'm thinking maybe I'd like to try me some of that cocaine. Look, look at that, it is just <laughs> clear, white, fine powder. So if you were driving and this thing busted open all in your car and you got pulled over, there would be some definite questions to be asked. And I will, yeah, dude. Yeah? What are you, what are you on right now, man? Uh, cloud nine wood. But um, yeah, anyway, smell not great. It smells almost musty. Not very good. Not a pleasant smell at all. But let's see what it does. It says uh, deer candy is a beneficial mineral supply that attracts deer by releasing mineral vapor trail. After initial application, moisture will cause these minerals to keep reacting and attracting deer. Okay, so. So things will happen and it'll start attracting deer. Okay, so hopefully that's what that musty smell is, is those vapors they talk about. But uh, let's go ahead and pour it out and we'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll let the uh, game camera speak for itself. Now this is where I've been putting it. And as you can see, the hogs completely kind of flattened all this out, which is okay, it's not too bad. It prevents the vegetation from interfering with the bait itself. So not too bad. So let's just put it right, yeah, right in here. We're gonna pour it everywhere. I don't know if I should pour the whole bag or... Alright, that's a pretty, pretty good square. It's like three foot by two foot. But it says it attracts them, so we will see. We will see. Okay. I think that's enough. Oh crap. It's getting everywhere. Whoop. Got all over my shoes. <laughs> okay, so that's the... <clears throat> I can't feel my face. I mean, I can touch it, but I can't feel it inside. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. Anyway, yeah, that stuff is uh, not the best smelling. Made me sneeze. But here we go. We have a pretty big site right there. That's pretty big. And there's still a lot left in here, guys. Like that. That was probably maybe half the bag. Almost half the bag. Yeah. Just insane. Oh, very, very powdery. It just. It gets everywhere, but uh, all right. So now we have our bait set out. We have our deer cotton candy down there at the other side, which I am very excited about. It looks like crap. It smells a little bit sweet. It looks like, like I said, like a uh, moldy rat turds that are in there, but I guess that's supposed to be the cotton candy stuff about it. And then we moved up here and we have our deer cane white powdered mix. And we have a big old square right here that the spy point cellular game camera is about to check up. So here's the thing, as we do it in all of the videos, we're gonna wait about five to seven days, see how it goes. Now usually if the game cameras start going off and I get all these awesome photos and videos and stuff, usually I'll cut off about five days. But if there's absolutely nothing, I'll usually stretch it to seven days in hopes that the good Lord put some really nice animals in front of the camera for us. But sometimes it just doesn't happen. So I have really good, really good idea and I got a feeling about it, you know? I got a really good feeling about it. This is gonna work pretty, pretty well. Even though it doesn't look like much, I think it's gonna work pretty well. So we're gonna leave it out here. We'll come back in five to seven days. Fingers crossed, y'all. And uh, we'll go over the game camera footage and see what these awesome baits have attracted for us. All right, y'all, and we are finally back. It has been seven days. It is Sunday yet again. So now we have a whole bunch of clips to go over. So let's take a look. The first one we'll be starting with is with the Spy Point cellular camera that is up the clearing. So let's take a look at our first picture and see what we got. Okay, the first picture is of a young doe. That's good. Oh, she's got some fawns. Very nice. And you can still see the really big white pile of the deer cane out there. More deer. Okay, so it's definitely attracting the deer. 
the dough again. Man, the dough really stayed around pretty. That's good. That's good. Wow, look at him. That's great. Oh, the hogs. I knew it. I knew the hogs were going to come. I knew it. Oh, yeah. He's right there next to that pile, too, so he must like it. Oh, the deer back. That is good. That is good. We've had the does around a lot here lately. So come the rut this year, that is going to be great. Oh, we got a raccoon. Another hog. Yeah, the hogs are back. The hogs are back. Yeah, more hog, more hog. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Press pause. Y'all see that? What is that? What? Look how tall that rack is. Holy cow. Let's zoom in a little bit on that. Let's take a look. Look at that, guys. That looks like a one, two, three, four, five on the left. One, two, three, four, five, possibly six on the right. So a five by six, 11 point. This was at 1036 in the morning. So this is broad daylight and it was 77. So it's a little, little bit cooler than what it has been. But look at him. Holy cow. That is what we're talking about. That is what we were wanting to see. Now, I think, yeah, this is the only photo it caught of him, though. But that gum, that is a big one. And then nothing the next night. All right, all right. So that is everything for the deer cane. Now let's go ahead and move down the clear a little bit to where the deer cotton candy was. And let's see what those videos caught for us. Let's go ahead and press play. Oh, raccoon. Now there's a lot of videos, so I'm kind of going to skip through these a little bit. And just, you know, see them as we go. Because each video is like 20 seconds long and that would take forever. All right, raccoon. Next one. Raccoon again. Raccoon again. <laughs> Daggum. I am surprised the raccoons were liking the deer cotton candy. I mean, not really surprised. It has a lot of, you know, pretty good stuff in it. Seeds, cotton seeds, um, pellets. So I'm not really surprised. Raccoons will eat pretty much dag near anything. All right. And, oh, there's the crows. Okay, the crows are there checking out the food crows holy cow raccoon with her babies <laughs> wow she's got four of them one two three four yep all of them just going to town on that deer cotton candy that's wild that, that's surprising right there oh <gasps> look at that oh that was a deer running R rewind it rewind rewind it. okay and play yep that looks i'm not really sure i'm trying to pause it and see I think that is a doe, a young doe. I was trying to see if I had any antlers up there, but I didn't see any. So, okay, we got a buck moving it up the clearing. Next, raccoons, raccoons. Ah, the hog. There's the hog. Man, that's a big hog, too, daggum. Yeah, just going at it, going to town. Staying around for a good minute, too. Eating, eating, eating. This is at 3.22 in the morning. See, that's the thing about these hogs. If they were out, like, uh, later in the day, you know, I could probably go out there late in the day and, you know, shoot them. But they're, they're out at 3 o'clock in the morning. Who, who the heck is up at 3 o'clock in the morning? Not me. I'm not up. So, yeah, he stayed around for a while. 3.24. Next one. Still there. 3.25. Yeah, he got his full. He was, he was there for about five, six minutes. 3.29, 3.31. So, okay, he was there for a good hot minute. Next morning, pole's moving. That's weird. Y'all see that? Look. That pole starts shaking. And there's no wind blowing. The, the leaves aren't moving or nothing. But the pole was shaking. So, one... Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a crow. Okay, okay, there was a crow on it. That's why it was moving. That makes sense now. Okay. And more crows. Okay. So, that is it. The crows. Okay. Alright. So, that is it for all the clips. The deer cane brought in so many dough that it was ridiculous brought in the hogs and brought in that giant buck so that is really really good sign uh, but that is up the hill. I want to bring them down a little bit closer because that's where I want them to be at this year for hunting but down here at the clearing, the deer cotton candy did a really good job. We had a deer run past. We had the hogs come down. Raccoons were everywhere. 
crows are everywhere. See, I don't know what it is. You really don't see them all that much up the clearing as much as you see them down close to the clearing. And down further from the clearing, I mean, the closer to where the deer cane is, is right next to the pond where the water source is. So you would think the deer would be more there, but they kind of tend to stay up that clearing a little bit more. They feel more comfortable up there, which, you know, I don't blame them. It is, you know, safer up there because you have the huge field on this side and then you go across and you have the clearing and then another field on the other side. So it's just a good little walkway for them. But guys, there is all the videos that we have for these two baits i gotta say the deer cane definitely takes the win on this one but guys let me know what you think in the comments and if you haven't already please make sure to like and subscribe to the dark relaxing channel make sure the notification bell so you get notified more awesome beer i mean uh deer bait attractions like this video drops if y'all like them please let me know i really enjoy doing them especially with the hunting season right around the corner it is a lot of fun to really see what's out in your woods with these trail cameras guys but i will catch y'all on the next one y'all keep it real love y'all peace